Hey everyone, Matt here from Docs Running. Today we're going to do a sub to review of the ASICS Gel Nibis 25. This shoe has been totally redone from the previous versions. We do have a full, we do have full written reviews you can go check out, but I thought I'd do a video review just to talk about how this thing has changed. So let's talk about the stack height, which is probably the biggest thing. This is technically a super max stack shoe with 41 and a half in the heel, 33 and a half in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. Men's size 10 is 10.2 ounces, which is very light for a shoe this size. Not very light, but it's on the lighter end. Nine ounces for women's size eight. There is full length flight foam blast plus throughout the midsole with pure gel in the rear foot. What that feels like is it's almost like the insole in the rear foot's soft and you kind of get into the rest of the foam, which is a little bit, not firmer, but at least more distinct and at least stable, which is really, really nice. There are decent sidewalls here, but it's not a stability shoe. So don't worry if you're sensitive to that, you'll be fine. Um, rest of it, again, this is not a bouncy ride at all. This is a rolling and very cushioned and protective ride. There's a pretty solid poster out of heel bevel. This heel does feel a little chunky, but once you cut, there's a sweet spot for landing that once you get it, it feels really good, especially on long runs. This rolled forward, forefoot's pretty stiff, but decent amount. There is some toe spring here, decent curve. Rolling ride is really, really how this feels. Upper, very nice in a couple ways. Really cushioned heel, uh, stiff heel counter, so those tends to be careful, but there is a plenty of cushioning or it padding up here. Slightly wider midfoot and then the forefoot tapers. So people that want a little more snug forefoot, you're gonna like this, people that have a wider forefoot. It does stretch, but just be a little caution with that. Durability has been phenomenal. I've got 60 miles on my pair and barely a dent in the outsole. So yeah, it's really a premium daily training shoe. I have loved this shoe for long runs where I just wanna take my mind off of thinking and just rolling along for easy and recovery efforts. So those who have run the Cumulus before, the essence is the same. How it's being executed is very different. You'll have to try it on to see exactly what that means. 